What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingNews.com. Welcome back to another one of our previews. Well, we're going to go to the fairgrounds, Louisiana Derby Day, going to be uh, Saturday, March 23rd. It's going to be race 12. There's only 12 races on this card. I was fully expecting 14, but we've only got 12. So the Louisiana Derby race 12, the last race on the card. Field of 12. So we're coming up 12s here at fairgrounds. Let's get to it. We'll go through the field. I'll give you my top pick, and we'll see how we can break this one down. All right, we're going to start with the number one triple espresso. This we're shipping in for Todd Pletcher from Gulfstream Park. Uh, all turf races. We don't know anything about this horse, horse's dirt form. So that's very interesting to see him entered here. He also has entered at in the Jeff Ruby Stakes at Turfway Park. I don't know at this time which race he's going to go to. I think the Jeff Ruby would make more sense from a surface standpoint. However, he's an also eligible in that race. So may just end up coming here. Like I said, fourth last time out, beaten three and a quarter in uh, a in the Colonel Liam, a stakes there on the turf at Gulfstream. So I uh, not much you can really analyze with him if he runs in this race. He's kind of a wild card. Number two is Hall of Fame. Huge disappointment. A major, major disappointment last time out in the Risen Star. Ran seventh. Just really didn't make any kind of move whatsoever. Two races back, he was a sensational uh, maiden special weight winner right here over this track. Aspies gives him another shot. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Santana in to ride once again. All you can really say is, hey, if you really, really still believe in him, go for it. You're getting a much better price this time around. But if that was too bad for you to give him another shot, wouldn't blame you. So number two, Hall of Fame. Number three, Antiquarian. If you recognize that name from Fairgrounds, it's because he did break his maiden uh, in his last start right here at Fairgrounds on Risen Star Day. He'd come in here off of one race. That was his debut win or debut race at Gulfstream Park. He was beaten by Conquest Warrior. We've seen Conquest Warrior come back and run very well. In allowance company, going to probably be one of the top choices in the Florida Derby. Antiquarian, like I said, came to fairgrounds, won by a length. Cornishman, the horse who got second, did come back to win last weekend. So there's a lot of positive signs here for Antiquarian. He will be the number three horse. Number four is Agate Road. This horse is also cross-entered here and also, of course, in the Jeff Ruby Stakes. You would think from... Hey, this horse runs on the turf and is, does his best running on the turf. You'd think, hey, let's go to Jeff Ruby and run on the synthetic. He may still do that. I don't have official confirmation, but from everything I've heard, Agate Road is going to run here at Louisiana Down or, or excuse me, Fairgrounds in the Louisiana Derby. So here we go. Right now, he does have two races under his belt over the dirt. He was second, uh, just barely beaten in his debut at Saratoga, and then he came back and ran second, beaten a length and a quarter in the Sam F. Davis uh, last time out at Tampa. So he does have some dirt form i guess you could say i don't think uh, not uh, you know i don't think uh no more time the winner of the sam f davis coming back to run kind of eh, in the tampa bay derby really helps agate roads case here but he is uh reportedly going to try the dirt the number five is catching freedom this horse is two for four lifetime of course won the smarty jones stakes two races back was third in the risen star last time out he re the a race they turned for home Certainly looks like Catching Freedom is going to win this thing. It looks like he is going to go right on by, but he does what he does. He kind of goes, veers out to the right, and then comes back into the left, outside, inside. you you got to get it fixed. I think if you can kind of get that bad habit fixed, he's the real deal. He's going to be really tough to beat in here, but if he doesn't run straight in the stretch, he's never going to beat real high-quality horses, so that's kind of his problem. I mean, even at the Smarty Jones, for a minute, it was like, wow, he's not going to fire or he's he's trying, but he's he's all over the place. But when he's once he got straightened up, he was good enough to go get those horses that day. He wasn't good enough to over, you know, kind of overcome that weirdness last time. We'll see what happens. I, 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 you know, Flavian Pratt jumps aboard. I think that's a very good sign for that horse as well. The six is awesome. Ruta, not a lot to talk about here. This horse was six beaten eight and a quarter. In the Risen Star last time out, he really kind of didn't fit that day. He doesn't fit here. The number seven is Honor Marie, second off the layoff. We'll see what happens here. It's a make or break race for him. Uh, of course, winner of the Kentucky Jockey Club, two races back. And then, like I said, first off the layoff in the Risen Star. Ran fifth, uh, beaten six and a quarter. It, he never really looked like he was going to win the race or anything like that. So um, it, it's pretty, pretty easy to summarize him. Got to run better. You know, got to run better second off the layoff. If he does, he could be a derby horse. If he doesn't, he's out. Number eight is next level. Uh, this is a horse that was well beaten 13 links in the Rebel Stakes last time out. 
um, you know, has had some other races that have been okay and some other races that have just been bad. But he he seems to be competitive or gets beat a long, long ways. Um, he doesn't look the fair or, or, or to match up real well with this group today. Uh, it'd be a big surprise. But DeSormo has pulled off some huge upsets on this uh, Kentucky Derby trail here at Fairgrounds and really Oakland as well. So, you know, that part wouldn't be shocking, but he does look a bit outmatched. The number nine is Real Men Violin. This is another one running second off the layoff. He was second to Honor Marie, two races back in the Kentucky Jockey Club. So a little bit to get excited about, but eighth beaten over 10 links last time out in the Risen Star. So him and Honor Marie, same kind of thing. They bounce back, run second or run better second off the layoff. They're derby candidates. If not, well, maybe we'll see in the Preakness or somewhere else down the road. The 10 is common defense. This horse closed up nicely to finish second last time out in the Rebel Stakes. I, I, I don't know. Like, I... I don't think there's anything to hate about him. I don't think there's anything to love about him. I think he's kind of, hey, if you want to key him underneath, that's kind of your horse type of type of situation. He's a typical McPeak horse, and the fact that a lot of them kind of just come from out of the pace, drop back, make one run, I think that's what common defense will do. So, you know, if you want to play him underneath, that makes sense. The number 11 is Tuscan Gold. Now, don't get him confused with Tuscan Sky. They're two different horses. Tuscan Sky was a horse that came and beat Nash last time out at Fairgrounds, and a lot of people thought would come to the Louisiana Derby. He's not here. Tuscan Gold has come here. He's the Chad Brown runner who won last time out off of a bit of a layoff, broke the maiden at uh, Gulfstream Park by six and, and a half length, or six and a quarter links. Looked really, really good doing it. So he's got a little bit of upside. This is you know, a lot real quick though. Third race, lifetime, first race against stakes horses coming out of just a maiden. We'll see what happens here. But Tuscan Gold drew the 11. And then the favorite, their potential favorite of this race uh, is the 12 track Phantom. He drew the parking lot in this one. So obviously, you know, track Phantom, you, you know, he, he won the gun runner. He won the LeCompte. He was second in the Risen Star, just beaten a half link by Sierra Leone. So, you know, he does it all the right way. He gets out in front. He'll either sock the pace or set the pace, which whichever one. I think from this 12 hole, they'll send him pretty hard, try to get him in front of everybody else. And I think you kind of look at this race. He should, you know, him, Antiquarium, Hall of Fame, maybe. Those should be the ones out there. So we'll kind of see how that progresses for Track Phantom. I, I think the post does hurt him, but I think the extra distance and kind of the longer stretch before that first turn does help in this situation. I think his early speed helps as well. I guess, long story short, if you like Track Phantom and you want to take him as the favorite, I don't think the post is going to be really that bad for him because of that early speed. But, you know, it is one thing that will kind of keep you away if you're kind of on the fence. All right, so that's the field of 12 here. I'm going to go number five, Catching Freedom, to win this race um, for Brad Cox. I, I really love that Flavian Pratt gets aboard. Uh, first time he's been aboard. You know, not not really that the other jockeys anything wrong because I, I don't think they did. I don't know. I just getting Flavian and, and as, as good as he is and his experience, I think it's going to help. I like catching freedom quite a bit in here. So I'm going to go number five, catching freedom on top. Hopefully we can kind of correct those drifting in and out issues in the stretch. All right, guys, for exacta trifecta plays, make sure to check out the premium products. And if you want free picks for every race at fairgrounds on Saturday and every other day they run and any track that runs on any day, Go to racenews.com, click on the free picks, and you'll see those free win picks. All right, guys, thanks, everybody, for watching. Hit that like button if you like it. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Want to get alerting time we do videos like this. And most importantly, good luck if you're playing fairgrounds on Saturday. <laughs>